we understand that you know, we need the environment, we need the snow, you know, to keep our you know to keep our lifestyle uh, going and, and to keep our lives happy. I've been to Argentina and I've downloaded lifts that used to go all the way to the bottom and I've been to Switzerland and hiked up to huts that used to be right on the glacier. We're going to look at this year as a real turning point, as the one degree mark. We're there. Just because I have thoughts and plans for next season, I need the weather to collaborate with me so that I can tackle my goals. It helps us you know, stay focused on our, our goal this year and that's to reduce our carbon output. has increased people's awareness of global warming, especially in that the, the, it is such a bad season and there is such low snow. And then when it doesn't happen, it's just like it, it continues to build up and you don't get that release that skiing provides for so many of us. The whole project that we were working on here made me think more about my impact on nature. You know, maybe we're not the biggest consumers and it's probably because we don't have enough money to consume that much. but. I think that's one thing that I don't want to lose. change our lifestyle today, tomorrow, or or next week, or, or years to come, just being conscious of the impact that we have is that first step that we need to take. It's going to happen right here in Tahoe, and that this white fluffy stuff is going to disappear. Then people want to change, I think. You know, we need this stuff. Without this, you know, our existence is kind of lost. And there's so many of us, especially in this area, that this is like our whole life. Step.